So the point of this video is to try to see if we can determine whether or not the paper is alkaline or acid, which will affect not just cyanotypes, but other types of uh, alternative photography. So um, the idea here is I have plain copy paper, platinum rag, and Canson XL. We're going to do each test one at a time with pH strips and uh, I'm using distilled water on all of this. The water here is very alkaline so it's not going to work for this test. So we're going to use distilled water, chop up the paper, put it in the blender so that it will you know, get in the water and then we'll see what the um, we'll see what the results are after that. So as a control, we're going to test the water first. It's just distilled water, but still just to see what what we come up with by comparison. It'll show us what changes over time. So let's see if we can get this to focus. And come on. There we go. Um, we're getting right at a right at a six, which is what it's supposed to be neutral I'm assuming um, and that's just distilled water plain old distilled water so we will see what happens when we um, put some paper in it okay so first I've got the copy paper um, I've kind of cut it up into little squares I'm going to put it in the blender and add the water to that. And we'll see what happens. I'm trying to just make a... get it in solution to see what it looks like. So let's see what happens. Okay, now, if I can get this to cooperate, I'm going to strain it through some coffee paper so we can get, just need some liquid in there so we can test it. I'll take that out. I guess it doesn't have to be separated, but I figured it'd make it easier to see. All right, so I'll get another strip here. And what do we got? Okay, so now, I don't know if you can see really well, but now it's seven to eight, which is alkaline. It's definitely eight. So we're definitely more alkaline with copy, the copy paper. So let me rinse all this out and then we'll try the Canson paper. Okay, so everything's rinsed out with distilled water. Now we're going to do the Canson XL paper and see what result we get from that. I'm not going to filter it this time. It's just, I thought maybe that would help, but it didn't really help anything at all. All right, here we go.
This Canson paper is a lot thicker than copy paper, so that's probably why it's not blending down as well. All right. All right, let's see what our litmus test finds on this. All right. So, we're closer to six. Um, it's more neutral than I thought it'd be. I um, thought it'd be more close to maybe a uh, five, but it may not be as acidic as I thought. So let's, um, I'll rinse everything out and then we'll try the rag paper. Okay, so again, everything's been rinsed out with distilled water, and now we're trying the platinum rag paper. See how that one does. Canson and the platinum rag probably take a little more time because they're a lot thicker than standard copy paper. So let's see what happens. Should be enough. Let's see what we got from this. And it looks pretty neutral. So these are the three test strips. This is the regular copy paper. This is the Canson XL, and then this is the Platinum Rag. Um, the the uh, Platinum Rag, there's really like no differentiation between it and the control test with the water. Um, sort of the same thing with the XL, although I'm kind of wondering if it's just because it wasn't blended in the water more. Uh, but you can definitely see the difference between regular copy paper. It's highly alkaline. So the um, Platinum Rag and the Canson, if this has got acidity, it's not strong enough to affect a cyanotype unless there's humidity. I'm kind of wondering if there's not a acid buffer in the paper because of, from what I've read, the XL has like a sizing on it. So maybe if you coat it, the more it soaks through the uh, sizing, the more acidity it picks up, which is why it turns blue. I don't know. But um, anyway, that was just a quick test to show you how you can determine the acidity or alkalinity of the paper you're using to see if it'll work for whatever alternative photographic project you're working on.